I have found motherwort. This is Leonoris cardiaca. Um, this is not very common in Tennessee where I roam, um, but right now I'm in Wisconsin. I've been here for about um, five, six weeks, and we're about a month and a half behind Tennessee. Um, things are just now starting to pop up in the woods here in Wisconsin. Um, but this is something I've never seen, and I've been walking around quite a bit um, in the woods in Tennessee. So I know a lot of people do cultivate this, but this is just growing wild in the woods everywhere here. Um, it's very common. So I was very happy to find motherwort. So it's Leonoris having to do with lion and cardiaca having to do with heart. So lion heart um, tells you about the first thing that it's used for. It's a good cardiotonic. Um, so part of that has to do with um, anxiety, and we'll get into that in a minute, but it helps with um, nervousness, anxiety, and a lot of people who have those symptoms would also have things like um, high blood pressure or uh, heart palpitations or irregular you know, heartbeat, things like that, um, even hot flashes, and, and that's a whole other system we'll go into in a second, but all of those like excess feelings, even um, even things like grief, when you're going through like excess emotions, this is really good um, physically to help you adapt to stress and also um, emotionally. It does help uh, with emotions quite a bit. So it does um, help with hypertension, like I said, that's something that I've struggled with. So this would bring that way, way down. Also um, a regular heartbeat, but especially when um, you have high blood pressure due to stress. So um, this would help both on uh, just bringing down the stress and so therefore like all the all the symptoms that go along with that. Um, so it's a nervine. Also it, it helps uh, with spinal pain because um, it relaxes the nerves in the entire body. Um, sleeplessness if you're if you're not able to sleep again because you just have all this excess you know e excess energy excess heat things like that you're not able to sleep well this would be a good one um, to, to give a try so this is most commonly used as a tincture so an alcohol extract and this is a very small plant like I said things are just now starting to come up here this is a little bit uh, larger plant here but this plant will get up to two to three feet um, tall depending on its environment. It's got a fibrous root system as you can see again these are really small this, this, this will get a nice um, strong root system on it. It's got these um, palmate leaves I don't know if you can see that well and they've got like a lot of texture to them and they're a little bit fuzzy a little bit shiny it does have a square stem it's in the mint family um, so you'll be able to tell you know it's got a square stem and and those purple flowers that go along with that um, this is motherwort so why why motherwort it's really good as a female tonic so anything um, all stages of female um, health so even starting with like maybe pre-teens again where you're dealing with a lot of excess hormones and emotions that would be good to bring that down um, Pregnancy, it, it is a little bit, um, you need to be careful with it during pregnancy because um, it's a uterine tonic, it can be stimulant, and uh, you only want to use this one like the last four weeks of pregnancy because it will bring on some, some light contractions and ready your body uh, for labor. It will help in a way that like uh, red raspberry would tone your uterus. Um, but you don't want to use this until the last four weeks and then um, to prepare your body for labor. And then after uh, postpartum is really good. Um, so let me, let me go back a little bit. So you know how there's anxiety when you're about to give birth. You're just thinking about the birth. You're, you're preparing for the birth. That would actually also help in the last four weeks with, those, um, with, that, with that anxiousness keep you calm and not not sedative just relax and calm it um, and then postpartum so even if you are dealing with like postpartum blues or something like that um, and just again the sleeplessness uh, even if you are breastfeeding 
Um, it's been used for hundreds of years in, in that regard, so I mean it's tested, it's tried and true. So, um, uh, so yeah, post postpartum uh, depression, it would help level that out. Um, PMS is another thing, cramping, um, it kind of just balances all those things, all those excesses. Hot flashes, menopause. This is such a great plant, you guys. Just e so male or female, you don't have to be a woman to take it. It's mother wort, but um, I was reading an article and it was kind of neat. They said it's good for all things that you would need mothering over. <laughs> you know, anytime you need a mom, <laughs> take mother wort. So again, grief, anxiety. I want my mama. Um, try some mother wort. So again, uh, there's so many things that I just. This is kind of just touching on a little bit of everything that it does. So I really suggest that you go and you uh, research it for yourself. I'll try to post some links um, to my page. We have the Artist and the Herbalist on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. So I will try to go ahead and post some links along with this because uh, it's one of my favorites. And I plan on um, making plenty of tinctures just for myself. I do deal with hyper hypertension and... Um, just tend to get anxious over nothing. <laughs> so my personality, I'm always on the go. So um, this is a really good one for me. And I hope you try it out, um, grow it, and enjoy it. Thanks for watching.